There is a brand new update from one of my favorite AI platforms that now lets you combine multiple different AI chatbots in the same exact chat. So you could use GPT-4, you could use Claw3 Opus, you could use Gemini Pro, Llama3, all in the same chat and compare your answers or have it rewrite your answer that GPT gave you with something else. Now I'm subscribed to a lot of different chatbots because I think some of them do a better job for a very specific use case. So for example, I like how GPT-4 summarizes a large amount of text. I think the formatting is fantastic. But when I'm writing from scratch, a lot of times Claw3 Opus does a much better job. And sometimes I use Gemini Ultra, which is the best model from Google for different things. But I think I might have found a solution that may change my AI workflow and it may change yours too if you like to jump between different tools. Okay, so the platform is called Poe. You could access it at poe.com. It's been around for a while. It's created by the same person that created Quora. But the new update is the ability to pull in in the same chat different large language models without switching the chat. It's going to have the context from the previous chats that you have in that chatbot. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to go to the Explore tab here. And as you can see under the official tab, you're going to get all kinds of different chatbots that you could use to start a chat. So for example, Claw3, they have three models and they're all here, Sonnet, Haiku, and Opus. Now some of these, which is right here, you can see it says subscriber access. So two of the models here require you to pay. The rest you could use for free to some extent. I'm going to show you exactly how they manage the subscription and the usage there in a second. But Opus and GPT-4 required a paid subscription. Here's Gemini Pro. Here's another Gemini. I also looked for Llama 3. So Llama 3 just came out last week. And there is the 70B model, their best version right now. There's the 8B model. And anytime they have the official tab, they are free and available to use. And you could also use Llama inside a Grok. So this is a really, really fast version of Llama because it's using this new LPU is called. Basically, this is a new AI engine that is powering Llama 3. So you could use it there too. Really worth a try. So let me go ahead and click on just a poll logo here and I'll start a chat just to show you the power that this could give you. So here I'm just asking it to write me an email, keep it short and to the point. And I'm going to use this one right here, the assistant. So the assistant is the default chatbot that they have inside of Poe. It's powered by GPT 3.5 and Haiku, Claude Haiku. It's a kind of a combination. And every time you use a chatbot, if you go all the way on top, it tells you. So this says GPT 3.5 Turbo and Claude 3 Haiku is what's powering it. So here's what I got. So assuming this is GPT 3.5, if I come down to the bottom, I could rewrite it using Haiku. I could rewrite it using Gemini Pro. I could rewrite it with Mixtral. Okay, so let me just show you one of these. If I just click just to see what the other version of it. So now if I go back up, this one was 3.5, GPT 3.5. Now this one rewrote it for me using Claw3. And I paused here and I read through and I like Claw3 Haiku a whole lot better. Now I'm just using the free version here of Poe. So I'm not paying anything. And that's fine because those other models are free inside of the ChatGPT website, inside of the Claude website. But here's what's really cool about it. It's giving me some more options to compare to Llama, for example. But what I could do is I'm going to erase this. I'm going to just type in the at sign and it's going to let me basically pull from any of these models that are available on this website. And there is a whole lot available. There is even models available that regular people have created that are not these official models. So people could make their own chatbots. So if I wanted to see how Llama is going to perform, let me type in Llama. Let's use this one, Llama 8B using Grok just to show you the speed of it. And I'm just going to say rewrite this. And I'm not going to give it any context, but it's going to know the context from this previous chat that we we're just having. And there we go. Whoa, that almost happened in real time with Grok using Llama 3 8B. That almost just spit it out in real time. I think it was like a two second wait. Okay, and then I could compare it again with all these other models. Really, really cool. But the real power of this and why I think it's going to be worth the upgrade is not using the free version, but it's using the version where now I could use GPT-4 and different models of GPT-4 and I could use Claw 3 Opus, right? Those two require subscription. So let me show you the subscription page. So here I'm under the settings tab and I'm under the free plan right now. 
And the free plan is not 100% unlimited, okay? So what happens is you get what's called these compute points and you get 3,000 of them every day. They reset daily. And right now I have 2,400 left on the free plan. And I've been using this a good amount, but I could see I could for sure run out of this credits, right? This is using GPT 3.5, for example, or Claude Haiku, but they do, this platform does have to pay those other companies, right, to use those models. But if I press subscribe, the reason why you want to subscribe is really just to get access to GPT-4 and Claude 3 Opus. Those are the $20 models from those two different companies. And here, if you pay monthly here, it's $20 also. But now we have two different models. We have other models. We have things that we only have access to here because a private company has made it, right? So that's included here. And if I just kind of read the fine prints, it is based on compute points. So they give you a million compute points per month, and then you're gonna use that up, but that's obviously gonna be a lot more useful. You're not gonna run out of the free one now, but it is gonna be limited. So it says 3000 for GPT-4, that's 3000 chats, it looks like with GPT-4, and about a thousand with, they don't have Claude 3 just yet available, so we don't know what that is because that's a newer option. It hasn't been updated here in the text. And the other thing I wanted to show you here on their image generation. So a lot of us use, for example, Dolly 3 inside of ChatGPT, which this also gives you access to once you subscribe. But sometimes we might not like what we're getting out of Dolly 3 and we may want to use something else. So another very popular image platform, text to image platform is called Stable Diffusion Excel. This is open source, so you could just jump in here and you could just click on one of these prompts here and then type one out. And very quickly, you could get an image here and you could see, you could compare it to other models. So they have a playground model. That's the default model that Poe comes in. So you could go ahead and click on that to see if that's gonna give you a better version. And this is not a sponsored video by Poe. I just think the ability to use multiple different large language models inside of the same chat without having to jump between different websites, without having to copy and paste one chat from one website to another, all taking place with the context in the same window, could be a real big game changer. So I'm gonna just go ahead and upgrade to Poe here so I could use GPT-4, and then I'll let you know how it works over a course of a few weeks. I wanna really see if I could replace all the different chatbots I pay for and just do everything in Poe. But I'll let you know how that goes. And I also made a video about another platform called Perplexity. That's my favorite way to do research. That one also could use GPT-4 and use Claude 3 Opus in the background, not in the same chat, but in the same platform. So if you haven't used that before and you do a lot of research using AI, that is definitely worth a look. So I'll link that here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.